Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to cook uh, jackfruit seeds. Okay, there's this skin, and then there's the skin that's around the uh, the seed itself. So when you uh, when you put them to cook, you could cook them in water, and this won't take so long to cook. And basically, uh, these taste almost like a potato. It has a nice potato flavor. And the best part about these seeds is that you don't want to throw these out because they're very high in protein. So what I'm going to do to speed this up is I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use my pressure cooker, but you don't want to cook these for long. So five minutes should do it. If you see that it doesn't uh, cook in five minutes, then I would say uh, cook them a little longer. But you can cook, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can cook these um, right in a small pot and just let them cook for about 5-10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes the most until you find that they're nice and tender. And then we're going to make a nice little curry dish with this. Now if you've bought maybe a small uh, a small piece of jackfruit and you don't have enough seeds, what I would do is just take those seeds and put them in a Tupperware like this and just put them in the uh, put them in your freezer and as you accumulate them then you're gonna have enough to be able to make a dish with it um, I've also stored them in the fridge if you know that you're not going to use them right away just take these beautiful seeds like I said and just put them in the freezer for when you have enough to be able to use you can throw them in stews you can uh, throw them in bean dishes once they're cooked there's many ways you can use this you could even turn it into a flour if you want to but today we're going to steam cook these and I'm going to cook them in a pressure cooker and then we're going to make a nice little curry dish okay I've got them five minutes in the pressure cooker and meanwhile we're going to cut up an onion I'll tell you what you're going to need okay so we're going to need an onion now I buy a lot of these hot peppers and sometimes I don't get a chance to consume them all so they shrivel up and eventually they dry up where you could actually use it like um, you could just put it between your fingers and it'll flake on you but these are still in the process of drying up but that's okay so I'm just gonna cut these up and I'm gonna throw them into my pan but if you have a lot of these you could either put them in a jar with some oil where you do have to cook them one day I'm gonna show you how to do that or you can just leave them out or hang them you can even thread them and let them completely dry let me see if I have one for you to show you here we go this one is completely dry so if I would take this I could actually flake it up into into flakes rather than uh, having to um, having to uh, chop it up but since this one's still a little moist I'm gonna chop it up so I'm gonna use some of that there we go and if you have a lot of them that you have dried up you could just put them uh, into um, a food processor or even a blender and just give it a blitz and then you got yourself some chili flakes to use later on in the future so don't be afraid if you see that they start getting this uh, shriveled up you say oh my god they've gone bad I'm gonna have to throw them away do not throw them away just let them completely dry up and then use them either by squishing them up in your hands or like I said put them in a blender so there you go we're gonna use that we're gonna need some olive oil I'm gonna use some beautiful smoked salt that I make and to a mortar uh, if you have one if you don't uh, you can just blitz it in a small food presser, uh, food processor I'm gonna take about maybe a teaspoon of coriander seeds I'm gonna take just a little bit let's say maybe a quarter teaspoon of, of mustard seeds and I'm gonna put just about a half a teaspoon of white peppercorns if you don't have white you can use red if you don't have red you can use whatever color you desire and we're just going to give this a little squish and you don't want this like a powder you want it almost uh, where you do get a couple of little bits under your teeth it just especially the coriander it has such a nice fresh fresh flavor sorry for the shakies guys so that's pretty good I'm 
Now, if you don't have um, a hot pepper, now again, if you don't like hot, don't put hot whatsoever. But if you don't have hot pepper, you can use chili uh, chili flakes or you can use uh, chili powder. If you have the flakes, you could also throw it in here and then simply do um, do a light crushing of it. There we go. That should be this. I'm going to put that aside. Uh, we do need a little bit of curry powder. And we need some tomatoes. By the way, I want to show you something. Look how small organic ginger is. If this was not organic, the pieces would be about that wide. But look how small it is. Organic ginger. If you get a chance, get it. It's better for you. We're going to put just a little bit of this. So I'm going to grate this. And I'm going to throw it in there. There we go. Don't need a lot. Maybe about a half a teaspoon of it. Or as, as much as you like. If you like a lot of ginger, put a lot of ginger. So there we go. We've got about maybe a half a teaspoon of ginger. There we go. Okay. There we go. So we're going to cut the onion. So a lot of people don't know about the seeds of the uh, of the jackfruit. They usually take those seeds and they just spit them out and throw them out. But believe it or not, that jackfruit seed holds a lot of protein. So really healthy for you. So do not throw that away. You could also cook durian seeds believe it or not so before you throw those out do a little research and you will see that they have a lot of benefits and nutrients for your body and today we're cooking the jackfruit seed i did put up a little well it's not up yet it's in the process of being produced but on my Patreon account, I do have a video that I'm going to be putting up on my jackfruit. But if you, um, if you pick up some jackfruit, like I said, if you don't have a big, a big piece of jackfruit, just store those seeds for later on. You could always cook them later. And yeah, delicious. Taste like a potato. Now, if you don't, if you have only cherry tomatoes, you can use that. Just cut your cherry tomatoes in in halves or quarters. Doesn't matter what kind you use. And if you don't have any fresh tomatoes on hand, and you have maybe diced tomatoes, you could even use that if you want. I'm gonna use some fresh tomato. There we go. Very easy. This is a very fast recipe, but a very delicious one. And if you don't like curry and you want to change it up and you want to make it Mexican, you could also make your your dish Mexican. It's really up to you. We love curry in this family, so curry it is today. My daughter loves, loves curry. And the best part is it's very healthy. But very high in protein, believe it or not. So it makes for a very healthy dish. You can also mix beans. If you want, you could take some beans and add that to your dish. It's up to you. I'm going to leave it just with the jackfruit seeds. There we go. My beautiful ugly pot. I love this pot. Best cooking comes from a Dutch oven. Even though it looks the way it does, it's clean and it does its job. So we are going to put this on. And we're going to add some olive oil. And we're going to add our seeds. And what this does, it, it helps bring some of the flavors out. 
We're going to add some heat. Perfect. We're going to add our onions. We're going to add some curry. Some masala. Mm -hmm. I wish you could smell this, guys. Just a little more olive oil. Now to this, we're going to add some salt. I'm using my smoked salt. If you don't have smoked salt, you can use any salt you want. We're going to add our ginger. And now we're going to add our tomatoes. Taste it for salt. Mm -mm. Very good. A little extra masala. There we go. And we're just going to put this down low and I'm going to check my, uh, my jackfruities because They've been cooking for five minutes. They should be ready. We're going to add some fresh coriander. There we go. Okay. I just want to show you See the outer skin? We want to take that off. Let me see if I can do that without burning myself. See? And these taste just like delicious potatoes. So we're going to remove the outer skin and then we're going to cut these in halves and we're going to throw them into our into our uh, or into our tomato. So there you go. Just remove the outer one. Oh. There you go. You see? It comes off really easy. All right. I'm just going to show you. There is that white skin. After you've cooked them, this is the skin you want to remove. And that skin is okay to stay in your dish. So I have them already nice and clean. Here they are, they're cut in halves. And we're just gonna add them to our dish. This one still has a little bit of skin. And this one. There we go, we're just gonna add them in. And we're just gonna let them, they're already nice and uh, tender but they do have a little bite to it so if you want them a little softer more creamier like a like a potato then you're going to um, then you're gonna just cook them I don't know this is good this one is good okay so there's that half and this is that white skin you want to remove you see it it's almost like an onion skin so there it is and you'll just cook them a little longer I'm just gonna put this back up and that is how easy this recipe really is. I'm going to just add a little water. And we're just going to cook it down. 
and high in protein and you consume not only um, not only do you eat the fruit itself but you can actually make something delicious with the seed of the jackfruit so how simple was that recipe just taste it for salt mm, maybe a little extra curry since I have it I'm gonna add some curry paste but curry is really up to you how much curry you want in your dish if you're okay with curry put as much as you like and if you're not crazy about curry use less curry but it's really up to you how much curry how much curry you want like I said it doesn't have to be a curry dish it could be a Mexican dish does not matter so we're just gonna cook this down but it's pretty much done because these are already cooked separate and we're just gonna bring this all together and reduce that water and we have either a nice side dish or a main dish that's really up to you so uh, I'll show you how I plate this and I'll see you in a little bit Okay, so here is curry jackfruit seed, and right at the very end, we're going to add, I'd say about maybe half a cup of frozen peas. In the summer, if you could get fresh, it's even better. But why do we put this at the end? Because we want to be able to get that little bite when we put that in our mouth. We don't want those mushy, mushy peas in our dish. So there we go. Very easy very simple we're just going to push this over to the side look at that very simple very nutritious we're going to put just a little bit of cilantro uh, sour cream on top some more fresh cilantro and maybe a couple of chilies and there you go how simple was that and this is done with the seeds of the jackfruit instead of throwing away those seeds cook them they're like a nice little potato now the longer you steam cook them or the longer you cook them in the boiling water before you make this the more tender your seed is going to be i like it with a little bite to it but if you want it really uh, soft cook it longer and your seeds are going to be nice and creamy so i hope you like this little recipe and guess what guys i'm going to see you in the next one for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to connie's rawsome kitchen give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends